Do you ever think about becoming a dog groomer? Do you ever wonder what do groomers actually do all day? A lot of the day is spent washing dogs. Some groomers have a bather and some groomers do all the bathing themselves. Of course, if you have a bather, you can groom a lot more dogs. This dog is getting shampoo and conditioner. She's got a couple fleas, so she gets a flea bath. How do you know if dogs have fleas? Well, they'll have itchy skin and missing hair. And actually, when you get the dog wet, you can smell the flea dirt. It's the flea blood left over from biting the dog that has a scent smell, and you can smell it. This is a Border Collie, and she comes about once a month. She always gets a flea bath, just in case she has fleas, and I did see about three on her. But a dog groomer needs to learn how to cut the nails, clean the ears, wash, and conditioner, blow dry the dogs. We also have to put them in the tub, get them on tables, like the bigger dogs can be a challenge, but I use a ramp in my shop. Most dogs need to be washed and completely dry before you start their haircut, but it all depends on if they're matted and how thick their hair is. If the groom shop that you work at has a bather, you never have to wash dogs. So I only do four dogs a day because I have to do everything by myself. I make my own appointments and clean up all the mess. Every day when I get off work, I have to vacuum and clean out all the cages. For big dogs, I use a ramp because I've been grooming 30 years and my back is shot. Here's a Cocker Spaniel. I just washed him and now I'm blow drying him. He gets an oatmeal bath every time he comes because he has allergies. And you'll learn that a lot of dogs have allergies. Patience is a must if you want to be a dog groomer. Because the dogs can pick up on your mood. And if you're calm, they're more likely to be calm. Okay, so she's almost done drying. I'm using the ramp again to get her to get up on the table. She has bad hips and she can't jump. If you're a dog groomer, you gotta learn how to read body language. This dog has bit many people, but she's fine with me, but I don't trust her. She, she, t she makes a really strange face when she looks at me <laughs> and I know she does not trust me. So I, I never get too close to her mouth. This is a very stressful job, and a lot of times you don't get to sit down and eat. Sometimes I just eat as I work. Before becoming a dog groomer, you need lots of tools. You need a couple different kinds of brushes, a couple different kinds of combs. You need clippers, a blow dryer, Toenail clippers, blades for your regular clippers. Ear cleaner and cotton balls. It all depends on if you're working for somebody or if you're working by yourself. A lot of people groom in their house, but you have to get permission from the town you live in. In some places you need permits. but you don't need a license to groom dogs. I went to PetSmart grooming school. That was over 30 years ago. This is Daisy and she is 12 and she's been coming here since she was a puppy. All the dogs I groom get a handmade bandana or a bow I think most groom shops give out bandanas. 
but you can just cut them with pinking shears. You don't have to use a sewing machine, but I like to sew them because they look better. Okay, she's ready to go. I'm just gonna walk her back down the ramp and put her away. All the dogs I groom stay in cages when I'm not working on them, so they stay safe. I also have a dog bandana shop, so I make a lot of these dog bandanas in advance. Sometimes I make them specifically for the dog that's coming, and sometimes I'm just trying to use up all the old ones that I have. Any way you look at it, they get a free bandana or bow with their grooming. This is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. If you groom dogs, you're going to have to learn all of your breeds. They all have their own specific haircut and hairstyle, but most people just want their dog shaved down. Unless it's a double coated breed, then they might just want them brushed out and washed. But all groomings come with a bath, conditioner, mm -hmm. nail trims, and ear cleaning. Thinning shears and chunkers are great grooming tools to have. They thin out the hair, they remove mats, and they just make the dog's hair look more natural. Besides nail clippers, you also might need a Dremel. Some of the little dog's nails are so sharp, if they have elderly owners, they can literally cut their skin wide open when they scratch them. Spray-on conditioner and doggy cologne are also great to have. Here I have a fall bandana with little dogs and pumpkins. Depending on your, your speed and your age, the average groomer grooms about four to eight dogs a day. When the dogs are ready, we either give the owners a call or we can actually give them a time if we know how long it's going to be. For me, I usually ask for about two and a half hours. They drop them off and they come back later. And a large dog, I might say three hours if it has long hair. It's probably a lot easier to learn how to groom now with the internet. But when I learned how to groom, you learn by screwing up. <laughs> There, there was some books, and every once in a while you would go to a seminar, but you just kind of did what everybody else did that you were working with. Thanks for stopping by.